Welcome back, everybody, to my little channel here. I, I, I honestly don't know how far <clears throat> this video will get. I, what what can I say? We're in dangerous times. Immensely dangerous times. The powers that be are moving to consolidate their power. And that has been seen in the COVID-19 policies and responses. That has been seen in the climate change, the Green New Deal, it was once called. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure now what it's called today. And it's seen in the World Economic Forum current meeting at Davos, where a wide variety of things are happening. Um, the thing that I'm making this video about today is one that has disturbed me to no end mentally and spiritually today. And that is our Maryland State Governor, Larry Hogan, is at Davos, at the World Economic Forum. This man is trying to position himself for a run for the presidency of the United States. His policies in Maryland have been disastrous. His overreach of power has been extremely harmful to the citizens of this state. Not only to us, but to others, because the states that surround us are affected by the things that happen here. Um, here in the United States, we are suffering from a, a shortage of baby formula. We're suffering from uh, growing inflation. We're suffering from gas prices at the pump that are just disastrous to you and me, the, the regular people, the, the, the serfs in, in their viewpoint who live only to serve them. Well, number one, I, I hate to break it to these people, um, Klaus Schwab and Governor Hogan and all those that are serving these other powers. I serve one God. And that is the God of the Bible. But here we have Governor Hogan openly announcing that he is at, he is at the World Economic Forum in Davos. He does not serve you. He does not serve the citizens of the state. He does not serve anybody but his overlords who are evil. Period. I, I, I can't say it any other way. Their plans, which are open, I mean, this is their website. Go look at their website, people. They're not hiding what they're doing. The global supply shortages, the supply chain issues, the high gas prices, the rising inflation are all part of the plan. Their plan to take over the world because they think they know better than anyone else. And that's what it comes down to, plain and simple. What's next for the global economic? Um, I can't read that because there's this thing in front of it. I don't know why. This is their website. Uh, this article is part of the World Economic Forum annual meeting, 23 May, 2022. Can I close this? Guess not. It's a shame. So what they see is basically this, that our world is going to break down into these four separate categories right here. This is what they want, scenario number one, the globalization 5.0 reconnection, which is where they take over everything, everything. And all these food shortages and grain shortages, all this pandemic response, this, this, these financial crises, 
they're all planned to lead us to this, to this scenario number one. They don't want us going to scenario three or four or two. They want us going to number one where they're in control of everything. And that's what the ultimate goal is. And my warning to you today is that you think you can escape this. You cannot. You think you can have your little prepper community. They'll come for you. You think you can have your little area in the woods where you'll just survive by yourself. No one can stand alone against this. You can have your bunker in your backyard. You can have your MRE set up. You can have whatever. They will come for you. Unless we tie ourselves together, bind ourselves together against this evil, they will come for us individually and they will take us. Make no mistake about it. They've done it before. They'll do it again. That's one of the things that annoys me about the whole prepper community is they think that just, you know, by prepping, by having their own food supply, by having their stockpiled fuel, they can get through this. They can't. They'll come for it. They'll come for your food. They'll come for your fuel. They'll come for you because you won't bow the knee to the Antichrist who's already in existence. Make no mistake about that either. This isn't some futuristic thing where there's going to be a secret rapture and the Christians are going to be removed from all of this. That's not what the Bible teaches. <coughs> the Bible teaches that this power is going to grow until Jesus Christ himself takes it down. Now, how does he do that? By the power of the sword that comes out of his mouth and defeats them. Ministers, elders in the church, you better be paying attention to this or you better be speaking to it. Because it's your duty to warn the people. There is one king. There is one Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not Klaus Schwab. It's not the World Economic Forum. It's not the UN. But you know what? The church has been infected. The church has been infiltrated and weakened to such a degree that these people feel empowered. There's only one power that stands against this, and that's Christianity. All the others have been subsumed to serve their purpose or created to serve their purpose. Read Revelation again. Here in Maryland, if you haven't woken up yet to see the evil that's being done to the people, I, I don't know. I, I drive around my local town, which is a small community, and I'm seeing all kinds of Democrat candidate signs going up all over the place. But the Democrats are the very ones that are increasing your fuel prices that are pushing the green agenda, so to speak, which is driving up your fuel costs. I mean, Joe Biden himself admitted it. Let me find it. Here it is. Look at this. Listen to him. And when it comes to the gas prices, uh, we're going through an incredible transition that is taking place that, God willing, when it's over, we'll be stronger and the world will be stronger and less reliant on fossil fuels when this is over. And when it comes to the gas prices, uh, we're... It's a transition to their little green energy process. This is a plan. This is part of the overreaching plan. People look at Joe Biden and think he's just some moronic idiot who's incapable. He's taking orders from someone else. That someone else is the Antichrist. That someone else is the powers that be who are standing against the Lord Jesus Christ and his kingdom. Go to the World Economic Forum for yourself and read it. Please, just don't take my word for it. But here in Maryland, our own governor is there proclaiming his service to these people in the hopes that they'll support him in his run for the presidency. And you think he's your friend? He's a Republican. That's what people would call a rhino. But guess what? There's no political party at all right now that is for the people. Republicans aren't. Democrats aren't. None of them are. You better wake up.